njia ya kupanga hajira ya hawa vijana pia ni kupanga mpango wa affordable housing kwa sababu pale kwa affordable housing tuko na nafasi ya ajira ya vijana wetu wiki ijayo ambayo inaanza kesho monday wiki ijayo program hiyo mumeona nilianzisha kule Nairobi wiki ijayo tunatangaza nyumba za kwanza 2000 hapa Morana hapa Kenol Town tunataka kuanza na nyumba tatu. pale Makenji tunataka kuwa na nyumba elfu moja na mia saba alafu nimemwambia huyu kangata wa barua kabla hajaniandikia barua kwanza <laughs> aende apange mahali tutapata mahali ya kujenga nyumba pale Kangema tunataka hapa Kenol hiyo eh, ardhi haitoshi tunataka kabati tunataka Tunataka pale Gatonyo. Tunataka Kangema. Tunataka Keriaini. Hiyo hiyo towns yote kubwa kubwa tunataka tuhakikishe ya kwamba eh, tunajenga manyumba at least 2000 in every lo locality. Kwa sababu nikiruka kwa ndege naona sehemu nyingi ambayo imekuwa ni mashamba ya kuzalisha chakula sasa inabadilishwa inakuwa ni mahali ya wananchi kukaa tutakuwa na njaa zaidi if we continue using our agricultural land for settlement we will continue to have challenges of food production and therefore our housing our uh, affordable housing plan is also meant to save our agricultural land from subdivision and from settlement so tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi namna hiyo ili tuhakikishe kwamba Kenya hii inasonga mbele. Tumepanga ile mpango ya Hasla Fund ambayo tunaianzisha Desemba tarehe moja. Na hata kabla ya Desemba tarehe moja, tumezungumza na wale wote ambao walikuwa wanashiriki na kupatia wa Kenya eh, mikopo. Wale wote karibu watu milioni tano ambao walikuwa wamezamishwa na fuliza simu yao ikafungwa wakakuwa blacklisted tumekubaliana ya kwamba hawa watu wote milioni tano watatolewa katika hiyo mambo ya kuwa blacklisted na mnaweza kurudi kwa simu yenu ya kawaida hakuna haja tena ya kumwambia mtu hii simu iko na shida wewe piga na ile ingine tunaelewana mtaanza kuiona hivi karibuni hiyo mambo ya fuliza tumezungumza na wao na pia tumewaeleza na wamekubali wapunguze riba ama ile interest wanalipisha wale wanakopa pesa katika hiyo platform ya fuliza by 50% ndio tuanze kuchangia katika kuboresha taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwahakikishie kwamba ile platform tunaleta ya hustler fund itakuwa na mambo matatu ya muhimu. Ya kwanza itakupatia mkopo kwa riba ya chini less than 10% per year. Number two, itakupatia nafasi ya kufanya saving. Wakati unafanya biashara pia unaweka akiba. Na jambo la tatu, ukiweka akiba serikali ya Kenya, ukiweka shilingi mbili, serikali ya Kenya inakupatia shilingi moja. Wale ambao wanafanya biashara hiyo hasa wale ambao hawana ajira that is what we are going to do kwa sababu tunataka kujenga taifa ambayo tunapanga leo na pia tunapanga kesho na tunapanga siku za usoni hatutaki kupanga Kenya ambayo inakuwa haina mpango ya kesho tumeongea na wale wote ambao walikuwa wametupeleka kotini tumezungumza na watu wa kotu Tumezungumza na watu wa Federation of Kenya Employers, tumezungumza na wale wengine wote, tumeketi chini na wamekubali ya kwamba tuondoe mambo ya makesi kotini kwa sababu mambo ya saving ni ya muhimu katika taifa letu la Kenya. We are now going to publish new regulations in the next uh, few weeks. 
baada ya wiki mbili tatu hivi tutakuwa na regulations mpya na tutaanza culture ya saving kwa sababu neno la Mungu linatufundisha kwa medhali ya kwamba mtu mwema medhali ukisoma medhali 13 na mstari wa 22 neno la Mungu linasema mtu mwema uachia watoto wake akiba lakini sisi kwa Kenya ya leo watoto wetu hawatakuwa na akiba wataridhi deni sasa kama inasemekana mtu mwema anawaachia mtoto wake urithi na ule anawaachia mtoto wake madeni si ni mtu mbaya so tafadhali tunataka kubadilisha ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba we have a future or our plan we plan for today but we also plan for the future tulikubaliana ya kwamba tutajenga uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya na tutajenga uchumi kupitia mpango ambayo haitawaacha wa Kenya wengine nyuma tutashughulika hasa na wale walio chini ndio tuweze kuinua kila mtu na hiyo mpango sasa tumeanzisha rasmi Nataka niwashukuru kwa kunipatia hawa viongozi wenu. Huyu mama Alice Wahome, asanteni sana. Huyu njogona Profesa Njogona Ndungu kutoka hapa. Hawa watakuwa katika baraza langu la mawaziri. Mimi nataka mjue, najua mmewapigia makofi sana kwamba wanatoka na huku kwenu. Lakini mimi nataka niwapatie habari hawa hawatafanya kazi kijiji hawa watafanya kazi Kenya mzima tunaelewana mimi nawashukuru sana kwa kunipatia hawa wafanyikazi tuweze kufanya kazi na wao kazi ya Kenya mzima na mimi nataka niwahakikishie wale wa Kenya wote ya kwamba serikali ambayo Mungu ametujalia tukaunda na mimi nataka niwaombe wote ya kwamba hata na sisi tutahakikisha ya kwamba tutaweka rekodi mpya ya kuhakikisha kwamba serikali yetu inashughulika na maendeleo ya wakenya wote bila ya kujali sehemu na mamirengo ya kisiasa that is the new government we are going to build because god has been gracious enough to allow us to move our politics to the new level where we have reduced ethnicity and the people of Kenya have made us proud that we have a government that we have built on the foundation of peace we will also strive as a government to work for the people of Kenya in their entirety without measure of what they believe in who they voted for or whatever region they come from we want to elevate our country to the new level and i want to commit to you as i do to the people of kenya that that is the new dispensation that we are going to move our nation 